Hello and welcome to the second part of the last part of the course simulation completed and I generated data needed for calculation of the efficiency map as you can see here this is emap data folder let me open it as you can see here we have generated this data 100 simulation points right because my grid was 10 by 10 if i open torque speed curve here my grid is 10 by 10 number of points in speed axis and number of points in torque axis 10 by 10 so i generated this data here if i open emap generated data grid data you can see this grid data these three arrays the first one is rpm the second one is amplitude of phase current and the third one is alpha is zero so i used this arrays here in this VBS file. Let me open VBS codes, EMAP calculations. As you can see here, we set EMAP data folder, number of poles, project name, design name, and we updated these three arrays and we did 100 steady state simulations and exported these curves so the index of data emap data is from 0 to 99 100 simulation points let me open for example pc1 edit with notepad plus plus as you can see here, time and copper losses. The first number is time and the second number is copper losses. We have this curve. Actually, for every steady state simulation, I exported this curve. Right? And this curve and this curve. That is torque. So we need to read these curves in MATLAB and calculate their average values in the second period, right? Because as you know, for calculation of iron losses, we need to calculate the average value for the second period. So I wrote this M file, efficiency map calculation. As you can see here, we should set these three inputs number of grid points 10 number of points in time I, I explained this and this is gamma p rot for calculation of the rotational mechanical losses right so i open emap gdata.csv first that exists in the same working folder then i read this data average torque copper losses and iron losses that are in emap data folder you can see this folder directory here right so i read each of simulation points and then calculate the average value and store them in these arrays in these vectors and finally i can calculate the efficiency and plot the efficiency map copper loss map and iron loss map what is end time end time is number of simulation points in time as you can see here in this vbs I considered this as a stop time 
2s divided by CSDR frequency, actually two electric periods, and I consider this as time step, right? So consider it one second divided by frequency divided by 50, right? So as you can see here, I have where the first line is only titles. So it starts from here. As you can see here, I have this data over time. 101 simulation points in time, right? Because I consider this as my time step. So you can see it here. So I write here, I have 101 simulation points in time. And as you can see here in this part of the code, I calculate the average value of each of these curves over the second period using this function mean value of y for the second period. So now if I run this M file efficiency map calculation. You can see these three graphs. That is, this one is efficiency map, this one is copper loss map, and iron loss map. These three graphs that we have here. Okay, so this was the last part of the course, and I hope this course be helpful in your projects and for the last part efficiency map calculation try it and let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching